this is the ultimate question, you know, is the US dollar going to strengthen throughout the year? And so that could put at risk the rally we're seeing currently in a lot of asset classes. I think the key question is, can really the Fed and the Trump administration afford to have the US dollar strengthening? Mm -hmm. Can they really actually let it rise? Uh, in the end, that may actually affect the momentum uh, in the US economy. Mm -hmm. And so if ultimately they intend to keep that US dollar in check, this is actually very good news to the emerging world mm -hmm. and emerging markets. Excellent. David, say so, hi to Sharif over here in uh, Singapore. Yeah. Hello, uh, David. How do you approach uh, the Chinese equities market, especially outflows? Because uh, there's some tension here. On the one hand, we are seeing outflows, and uh, that is, of course, a concern for uh, Chinese assets full stop. But there is a sense that A shares is a place where you can find a certain degree of uncorrelated return. Absolutely. I mean, there are a few things there. I mean, we had a few macro data which were a bit disappointing recently. I mean, you mentioned the capital outflow from the FX reserves. Uh, the PMI was a bit lower. But when you look on the ground, among the sectors, actually, we see a very strong set of numbers. You know, heavy truck sales are extremely strong. If you look at the numbers out of the property market, uh, we see also every time prices come down a bit, there's a pickup in demand. So there is a natural pool of demand for the property, which is very strong. And in the banking sector, we start to see actually NPLs declining among some of the banks, which is something we haven't seen in years. So all this combined is actually extremely favorable to China right now. You're right, there is an outflow because people in mainland are looking to diversify their assets and their exposure. So they move away from the Yuan, they're looking for exposure to US dollar, Euro or Japanese Yen. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when you look at Hong Kong, mm -hmm. This is a net inflow and the connect in particular, mm. when you look at the pickup in demand is actually extremely strong mm -hmm. and this is not to be neglected. In terms of flow, that may actually push a lot mm -hmm. higher the Chinese stocks listed in Hong Kong.